In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the new blur effect which has been added to Nova. The blur effect allows you to blur background and other UI content with an adjustable blur radius, as well as make color adjustments such as contrast, saturation, brightness, and adding grain to achieve a frosted glass effect. So let's jump right in and get started. Here, I'm starting with a blank scene, so the first thing I'll do is I'll add a UI root which will be the root of my UI, and underneath that I'll add a UI block 2D which will render our blurred content. To that UI block 2D, I'll add the blur effect script. Now this is the script that actually does the blurring, and in its simplest form, it takes as input a texture, blurs that, and then sets that as the image of the UI block 2D to which it is attached. So here, if we provide a texture, let's say the Nova logo, you can see that we get our blurred logo, and we can adjust the blur radius, as well as make some adjustments to the color, like the contrast and the saturation. Now, you might notice that the logo has a bit of a dark tint, but that's just because the default color of the UI block is gray, and you can set that to white if you want to remove it. So this is the simplest setup to blur content with Nova, but you'll likely want to do more than just blur a static texture. You might want to have some animations playing in the background, or maybe you want to have your UI blur the actual content of your game. So let's go ahead and set something like that up. First, we'll need some content that we can actually blur. Just to get us up and running, I'm going to add the dummy cube animator script contained in the Nova samples, and all this does is give us a quick way to have some colorful background content. To blur this background content, we'll add the background blur group component to our scene. And what this is is, it's just a utility component that streamlines the process for blurring background content, and it takes as input a camera that renders all of the content which could be blurred, as well as a list of blur effects which will then receive the output of that camera and blur it. So I'll add a new camera as a child of the main camera, and provide that new camera to the background blur group. Now, if we also provide the blur effect component we added earlier, you can see that we have the background behind the UI block being blurred. And also go ahead and just add a border to make it a bit easier to see. But now, just like before, we can adjust the blur radius, contrast, saturation, and if you're going for a kind of frosted glass effect, you can add some grain. So this is the simplest setup to start blurring background content, but let's say you also wanted to blur other UI. Maybe you have a window system and you want a pop-up to blur the UI that renders behind it. This is also very simple to accomplish. First, I'll add a button to be our background UI content, and I'll make it render underneath the blur UI block. And now that we have that, we need to make sure that our background camera renders our UI. We can do that by adding the background camera to the list of additional cameras on the screen space component of our UI route. After we do that though, you'll notice things start to get a little funky, and that's because the background camera is now rendering the blur panel. So every frame, the blur panel is blurring itself from the last frame, and it kind of blows up into this weird effect. We can easily solve this by simply putting the blur UI block on the UI layer, and then setting the background camera to exclude the UI layer from its culling mask. After making that change, we get exactly what we want, where we're blurring the background content as well as the UI behind the blurring panel. And that brings us to the end of this video. It was a brief introduction, but you now know how to blur textures, background content, and other UI. Hopefully this helps you get started with using Nova's new blur effect.